students, when they come into my courses, and again, they're mostly 400 level courses, they've recognized that the content that they're learning in other classes does not add up in a cohesive, straightforward way to a simple understanding of the world. Um, they're, they're savvy to the, uh, to the, for example, the idea that the types of insights they're gonna learn in an economics course are fundamentally different from the types of in insights they're going to get from a sociology or a social justice course. Um, and so my goal is to give them a structured environment where they can think about where, uh, I guess, disciplined insights coming from those different perspectives can come together and inform a, their understanding of a real world situation. So they are already aware that the world is complex and messy and anything I can give them in terms of a framework to make sense of that, I would say is a net benefit. Some disciplines, there's an, there's an easy way to imagine that the, my approach to critical thinking that I use in environmental studies would directly apply. Uh, for example, in journalism, I would think that it would be a goal to help students to uncover multiple layers to a story, multiple framings that stakeholders might bring to understand what's going on in a situation. And I would think that the students would benefit from a structured introduction to that through some case studies in a classroom setting such that they're prepared to recognize that complexity in the real world when they're out doing their journalistic work. Any single discipline does not provide a comprehensive understanding of how the world works and that, that students would benefit from the opportunity to learn at least the the basic level insights from other disciplines and the occasional complex relationships between the types of uh, understandings they would get from different disciplines.